Hey everybody, welcome back to another limited edition games video where I open up a small run, limited run of a typically Nintendo Switch game physical edition. And today we are here for Super Rare Games release number 24, their second ever collector's edition set. And I quite am excited to see what this is because as you know, I'm way behind on these things and I don't have a clue what I'm looking at. I didn't even read the thing. I just saw it as number 24. If you want to check out Super Rare Games, I have their link in the description below. They put out about one game every month and we all honestly do the booster pack card and all that kind of stuff to get the full card sets, and it's a fun time. So we're gonna do the unboxing here, and of course somewhere in the middle of this video we'll stop into a Let's Play so you can get my initial impressions and th see what we think about this game. And then of course we'll open up the coolest stuff at the very end and give our overall thoughts about it. So far they've been pretty great. They put out some awesome games. As a matter of fact, if you're watching our February um, Throwdown Thursday where Mary and I play games together, we're playing Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which was their fourth ever release, so that's pretty cool. But today, we are here for the gardens uh, between the tape that I didn't cut because I didn't see because this is packaged, packaged off awkwardly. Honestly, too, mine might be a little bit damaged. I saw some damage on the box, but now that I see the blue, it might just be that, so I might be good. So the, uh, oh, it's, it's glued over here, too. The gardens between us, woohoo! And we got some booster packs, and we got this card we'll look at in just a second. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Good. I was like, please don't have my address in there, but you wouldn't have seen it anyways. Actually, really nice packaging. Great job on throwing these corner protectors in there, because as you can see, mine did get a little bit damaged, because this comes from the UK, I'm in the United States, and uh, you know, shipping is not always great. Not their fault, I'm just saying, you know, it has to go through customs and all that kind of stuff, so things can get roughly handled. So since this is in a nice collector's box, I gotta say, they did a fantastic job of packaging this for safety, and it looks like mine is in excellent shape. So that it is, The Gardens Between Us, Collector's Edition. The Voxel Agents, it looks like. And uh, this is a Collector's Edition number two. I like that the box says number two, even though we know the game is number 24. Well, I know the game is, and it says number 24 over there. That is an excellent little detail. And of course, I will show you this more once we get the plastic off. But they always come with the Super Rare Games card. And of course, you can check out all the social media antics. Uh, of Super Rare, if you want to check them out, I do highly recommend them. Uh, Limited Run Games is my favorite, but Super Run is a very close second. Uh, Super Rare, I should say, and pretty much the only two companies that I will continue to consistently buy from. The other companies are nice, but you know, I don't, I don't, I'm getting too many. This is how I felt so far behind. I started thinking I wasn't going to have enough stuff to open, and then I started ordering from everybody, and then everything came out all at once, and now I'm like three months behind on opening these things. Seriously, this is obviously, I'm filming this in mid-February, and we're opening stuff from this, was shipped December 4th. So I'm obviously way behind. <laughs> Putting these out one a week is kind of tricky. But yeah, this looks great. This box is in great shape, nice and glossy. I, like I said, I love that it has the both numbers on there. And uh, here's a little bit closer look at this if you'd like to see that. And of course you can pause. Now I may have screwed up, this may have a full set of cards, but I did get the two booster packs anyways, but I'm gonna keep these separate so we know they were the booster packs, and we'll see what we actually end up with in here, and what other goodies there are, because it's been so long since I ordered this, I don't have a clue. Also, this company has pretty fast turnaround. Of all the limited run games company, they probably have the fastest turnaround I've seen, so you don't have to wait too long to get your games. Ooh, we got a nice big old poster, which I don't really have wall space for. Is that a poster? Yeah, it's a poster. Just a single fold poster. Pretty nice, I'm smelling the ink though, I don't like that. <laughs> That's not their fault, just happens sometimes. Looks like we get some paper craft, which I'm not gonna do, but it's a nice little touch. Something extra in there. It'll keep my collector edition in nice collectability. And of course we have the game, which I will show you better without the plastic on in a moment. And of course, since it is from Nintendo, uh, not of America, they do get to put the spine numbers on the number on the spine, I should say. And again, like I said, I'll give you a better look at that in a moment. We get your standard sticker, or super rare game sticker that it has art that is, ex you know, that is exclusive to the actual game we're opening up. It's not really the word I was looking for. And uh, yeah, we have two packs of cards that came in here, so I have a feeling they've sent me a complete set. And this actually opens up a theory that hopefully I'll remember to mention when we get to it. And is that a sticker or a temporary tattoo? Temporary tattoo, promotional tattoo. Not my jam, but that's kind of neat. We do get an art book, which of course we'll take a better look at as we get going in here. Oh man, there's lots of goodies in here. We get the soundtrack, which we'll take a look at a little bit later in here. Nice two CDs, it looks like. And we get some gorgeous pens here. I'm assuming these are some of the main characters. So that's really nice. Two main character enamel pens. It says super rare back there. As a matter of fact, because I do like my pens, 
Actually, I can reseal that too, so. Just so you can see it without that stuff in the way. Just the backing, not that that's really that important, but looks pretty good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, this is actually quite nice in terms of the things it's coming with. So I'm a happy camper. This is a really, this is better than their other uh, first exclusive, I think. I don't remember exactly about it, but I feel like I'm more satisfied from memory anyways. Very, very nice. All right, so let's go ahead. You've seen the sticker, you've seen the tattoo, you've seen the paper craft. Let's check out the game. Then we'll look at the CD. We'll save the art book and the cards for after the Let's Play. So again, we'll give you a quick little look here with the plastic on, then we'll take the plastic off and linger a little bit longer so you have less reflections. Get that going, except I didn't do a good job of it. Actually, I did that really backwards from how I would normally do it. There we go, much better. Be careful if you're a kid, don't stab yourself. It's not fun, it's very unpleasant. The plastic doesn't wanna break apart as well as I'd like it to, there we go. I'm just out of practice on opening video games. All right, so the garden between us, and it does have the Peggy logo. Now, some of you think that really looks nice. I don't, I'm not used to them. I think it's just kind of, you know, it's just a big ugly color that doesn't mesh with the color scheme on the box, but personal taste, personal preference, that's how it rolls. Well, and I'm thinking there's probably an instruction booklet in here too. There's usually an instruction booklet. Very, very nice. All right, let's see if I'm correct. I am correct. You can, of course, do this as reversible cover if you'd like although I don't think that's super gorgeous as a reversible. And there is the cartridge. Check out this little manual here. I'll try to go a little slow enough that you can pause if you wanna actually read the thing. So there's the art you saw inside the box. Looks more like a little bit of a mini art book instead of an actual instruction manual. This game looks interesting. Kinda of looking forward to playing this. Yep, just a little mini art book. All right. Nice, I guess I'll leave that out. And uh, let's take a look at the soundtrack before we get to this Let's Play. So it's a, uh, what is the word? I'm, I'm not a jewel pack, uh, digi pack? No, it's not even a digi pack, it's actually a sleeve. So it is two CDs. Second CD has, seems to have less tracks on it, but they might just be longer tracks. See if we can see what the printing on the CDs looks like. I do still love my physical media, obviously, because that way they can't change it, they can't disappear it, you know? It's really frustrating, especially with movies. When like they go in and they recut stuff and then you never get to see the original cut against Star Wars. Um, although I have physical Star Wars as well. And of course I am talking about officially. And these are replicated, not duplicated. That's a good thing. That means they're much more professionally made. Although duplication's gotten real good these days. And here is the back. I like that they've got stuff growing out of the uh, kind of Game Boy thing there. Obviously not an official Game Boy, but. And there is your spleen. All right, well, let's do us a little bit of a let's play, shall we? Enjoy the game. All right, let's do the gardens between us and see what we think. Hey, I'm back from dinner. Yay, no download. I ended up with four glass, uh, an LIT and three glasses of wine. And I'm stuffed. As usual, went to Azure, because I can't go anywhere else, because it's, you just never know the specials. It's like five star, man, it's, ugh. Oh. I had uh, grilled beef, tips, something like that with like, crab fritters and a red pepper sauce and rosemary buttermilk mashed potatoes and grilled asparagus. I had this amazing creamy potato soup and uh, we had the pimento cheese and spinach artichoke dip with pretzels, soft pretzels as an appetizer. The dip duo uh, special. It was good. Oh wow, this is a pretty looking game. I like the colors. I like the atmosphere. Do I need to turn up the volume? Probably. It's gonna be one of those videos, y'all. But don't worry, you'll go back to sober, handsome Eric doing the unboxings in a moment. But for now, let's start the game. Is this gonna be kind of like Oxenfree, which is one of those games I needed to play more? I wish like the power would go out more often because I play on my Switch a whole lot more. Like that's how I finished Thimbleweed Park. We had like no power for like two days. Of course, now I have so many like portable lights and portable things and portable batteries and battery backups. <laughs> I can run laptops for like days without power. I like this style, but what's happening? What are we doing gaming-wise? Can I do anything, or are we still in a thing? We're still in a thing. We're gonna play for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm either gonna go watch a movie, or I'm gonna play some more. Dragon Ball Kakarot, what the fuck? Wait, is this Tenant? Is this the new um, Christopher Nolan movie? 
Hold up. This is getting all timey wimey wibbly wobbly. Or how much did I? Oh. What the fuck drugs did these kids take? And where do I get some? <laughs> drugs are bad, okay? Except where they're legal, because then they ain't bad. Although a lot of legal drugs are bad. I mean, like the ones that were legal before. Never mind, not getting into that. They're not really bad. That's bullshit anyways. But I can't get into all that. <laughs> anyway, so uh, maybe we'll play this game. Where the fuck are we? And why does this look like it should be VR? Did we like shrink and we're gonna play around? Are we cats? All those cardboard boxes? Look, I can do a thing. Oh, what the fuck? So I move time forward or I move time backwards? I mean, that's how I go forwards, but I guess if we can see how we got here, how far back can we go? Oh. I'm still holding the backwards. I'm still doing this. I let go and it's still doing it. So I don't know. I guess when the bars kind of came up, it went into uh Is that what I wanted to do? Yes, now I can't go any further back. So I was probably supposed to do that. Now we will go forward. There is a bouncing ball that the gravity is all weird. Ariana's room. Arena's room. I'm sorry. Arena's? Yeah, Arena's. Arena's. Lounge room. So I'm literally just moving the left stick back and forth. I'm playing this game one-handed. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing with the other hand. Oh, no. You don't want to know. Oh, crap. Now I have to stop doing the thing with the other hand. <laughs> that was my wine hand. No, I don't have any drink right now. I need a break before I drink anymore. Oh, but I can go backwards now that I picked up the lamp? Interesting. I don't... Okay. Okay. We can... We, 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 eh? What'd you find, kiddo? Nothing? I should hook up my launch station and, like, give y'all a drum beat in the background. Oh my god, you have no idea how tempted I am to actually do that. I, I think I can do that? But I'm not 100% sure. No, I guess because it all comes in through that, so... Maybe? Nah, that's not what you're here for. I wanted to push my joystick up as if I was moving the characters, but really I'm just holding it left-right. Do I even need to hit the A button here? I guess I need to hit the A button. Yep. Go, Team Venture! Okay. Look, we did a thing. Don't you know that you are a shooting star? In Ariana, Ariana's room. I keep wanting to say Ariana. Ariana Vinte, the pop starlet. The fuck? What is this game? Maybe we should go forward and then go backwards and then go forward. I don't know what the hell is happening here. Yeah, I'm not going to push it. Let's go backwards before we do things. I mean, this might be really cool, but maybe not the game I was in the mood for after four drinks, which is my own damn fault. We don't really do anything backwards this time. All right. But you know what? I feel good and I'm happy. Not that I need four drinks to be happy, but it certainly, it certainly helps. Hello? Avon calling, sluts for sale. Okay. And then I guess I go backwards to pick it up. Like, oh my God, Becky, what are we doing? And that gives me a light in my lantern. Which then probably lets me progress through this next bit that I probably couldn't before. Okay. And we made a light bridge. And these kids are not in the least bit freaked out by it. Hey, you took my light away. 
Can I get multiple lights? Oh, I guess the other kid has to be up here. This game's weird, yo. I figured that might... No, what is it doing? Oh. So now we have to go backwards. So we can get a light in the lamp without having it sucked away by that flower. Ogite. I almost wonder what happened if I hit it again. I guess we're doing this again, huh? Welcome, Matt. Hit the button. Go, Team Venture! How long has this been? Because I'm like ready to be over it. I don't know if I like it. I guess I like it. Are these, are these even? <laughs> I really wish I could remember the Twilight Zone um, monologue right now. Imagine, if you will, a place caught between realities. A place where time has little meaning. You go back and forth. So how much you wanna bet Arena's dead? And the, that's her brother and brother's best friend slash lover. I'm just gonna go ahead and say they're lovers, those two, because why not? Because that's hot. Look, it's a really poorly drawn stick figure with a disproportionate head on its side, upside down-ish. You may have to rewind to see what I was saying. Hey, do you like it when my voice sounds like this? I don't. Hey, we're in a house that's floating. I don't have a fucking clue what's happening in this. It's mellow. I'm getting kind of a, a gris, a gris uh, vibe, only, you know, like, I'm not actually solving puzzles. I'm literally just moving back and forth and hitting a button. I guess there was a little bit of a puzzle solve. Was oh, this how you go between, like, worlds? I don't know. It's weird. This game is weird, yo. Yeah, I guess I can only... Oh, crap. We can go over here, and I guess I gotta hit the button. Yep, hit the button to get off on the next level. You always gotta hit the button to get off. There is a version of truth to that. But it's pretty adult. So I'm not gonna say it. I'm so funny, y'all. Y'all know I'm so funny. Okay, more of this. Hopefully there's more to this game than just what we've been doing, because if it's the, all that, it's a little bit dull. It's interesting. Can't go backwards. Can only go forwards here so far. Look, there's a thing that wants to break my whole world down. It's gonna tell me when I can do things. It's definitely a hand-holding game. And I like a certain amount of hand-holding, but I don't need all the hand-holding. Oh, wait. Nope, that needs a light in it. How do I make it get that, that light? Okay. Oh, what? Uh. Oh. Okay. I see. All right, well, let's go talk to Chris down the street. He'll know what's up. I need, I need the lamp. How do, oh, I gotta go back and pick up the lamp. Boom, give me that lamp. I've been to space. Why can't I go across? Now that I have a light, do I need to go back and light something? Maybe. It's not like it's a huge map, so it doesn't take too long to go back and see. Maybe I can just set all this wood on fire. Nope. Can't do much of anything right now. The music's too mellow, I'm too relaxed, the music's gonna put me to sleep. I need a fun action-y game. Well now I can go through, I just forgot to hit the button, that's why I'm dumb. Now we can walk across the light bridge. Well, fine, be that way, dick face. Wait, 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 wait. Put the lantern there, but how do I get another lantern light? 
Oh, I gotta wait till uh, glasses gets up here and hit that bell, I guess. Whoops, back it up. Strike it down. And move it forward. Maybe, nope. Back up. I bet that's what I have to do. Hold on, I think I know how this works. And now that we have that second lantern in, I gotta go back here and pick it back up. Yep. So it is kind of, it is kind of like Gris, Gris, however the fuck you say that one game that was last week that I really enjoyed. It is puzzle solving. It might not be as difficult, or at least not the beginning, it's not as difficult. But it is very mellow. It's too mellow for me right now. Man, they had it on like a, uh, I don't follow NASCAR. I can enjoy the last 20, 30 laps of a NASCAR race if I'm in the right mood. But uh, man, Daytona 500, holy fuck, dude. Hope everybody's okay. That shit was fucking bonkers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you might wanna look into that. Just out of curiosity, it's nuts. All right, so let's go backwards. How much longer are we playing? We can play a little bit longer. But I don't know, I think you're kind of getting the idea here. You're getting the hang of what this is. And then now, nope, can't do that, all right. These world designs are interesting. That's gonna suck my light out. You ever had your light sucked out? It's kind of interesting. Okay, so we have finally reached a puzzle that I might be mildly confused by. Hold on, oh, wait, 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 we got, oh, I know. I'm not confused, I just forgot how the game works because I was busy making an oral sex joke. All right, we'll put the lantern there and then we're gonna back up, let it go get its damn light in it. I mean, this is cool. If it sounds like I'm crapping on it, don't get me wrong, I'm not. I, oh. I'm, I'm in, what? Okay. I'm enjoying it. This is maybe not what I was looking for right now. Can this other dipshit kid grab it? No. But maybe I can. Oh, of course I can. What am I thinking? Yeah. Bloop. I'm overcomplicating it at times, it seems. And I'm not doing that. I'm not touching anything on my control stick. Okay. Well, who took my damn light? Do I need it again? Or maybe we just go ahead and move on. Because it's going to jump up, up there and then down there, perhaps? And over there, where it does me no real good. Where the fuck is the light for it? Okay. I didn't see any bells to close the black hole one. Oh, I can just jump. But we don't have what we need to finish the level. So, okay. We'll back it up. And there's two black holes. So this one's about picking it up at the right spot, it appears. So now I have a light in the lantern. Is that black hole gonna steal it? That black hole stole it. Oh, so I gotta go back. But isn't that what I did? Maybe I gotta go back further? I can't go back further. So it has to be that one. And then we move forward. It goes up there. And drops there. So I need to grab it. So that way that black hole doesn't snag it. And we're gonna put it here so the next black hole doesn't snag it from me. Yes. Success. Eric knows how to puzzle solve. All right, cool. Go Team Venture. When is there gonna be a woman between us? Shut up, kid. Brother friend. Brother friend kid. Ooh, do we wanna play the kiddie pool? All right, one more, one more. Which is how you know I like it. I'm like, one more, let's do another one. And we'll wrap this up, because it's about 10 o'clock and I could go watch a movie. I think I might watch a movie. I was gonna think I could either play a watch a movie or play some Kakarot. Ooh, look at the 
those kids just pissing and peeing everywhere? Maybe I'll play some Kakarot. <laughs> no, I need to watch a movie. That's right, I need reviews. Fuck, I guess I gotta watch a movie. I gotta make a Patreon review. Eh? Et tu, Brute? But we're gonna play one more. We're gonna do one more level here. And then we'll go back to the beautiful unboxing from Super Rare Games. And as of filming this, in a cup, uh, couple, uh, no, it'll be a while before you see it. <laughs> it'll be a while before you see it. But uh, this week, they're putting out L uh, SRG, like, I don't know what game number. But it's got a sweet ass seal book, so I'm excited. Okay. Let's do the TV couch level. I kind of feel like I should just ASMR the rest of this gameplay. Because it's already so incredibly really react relaxing. And I know this kind of probably is really terrible for some people in headphones. But perhaps other people can might actually enjoy this. But don't worry, even though I'm enjoying it, and I'm not typically an ASMR fan, I'm not going to do this any longer. Okay, that's the end of the ASMR segment. <laughs> Moving on. Can we back up any? No, we cannot back up any. All right. So, run, 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 run. Can't, oh, what, huh? Oh, the kid's gotta do the thing. Okay, so we do have something new happening here. Oh, I can, oh, I can forward or backwards the Jenga. By the way, never played Jenga. But my God, there's a Godzilla Jenga set and I fucking need it. And I wanna play Godzilla Jenga. Cause come on, right? Okay, hold on. I gotta, mm, no, that wouldn't make sense. I was thinking maybe I have to go back and move the Jenga. But maybe not. Okay, here we got another time station that's gonna allow me to move the Jenga. What's a Jenga? All right, brother, do that. Now, oh no, this is dominoes. Well, since I can't do anything for moving it backwards, I guess I'm supposed to move it forwards. So we can knock down the light, which we can then go get the light. And then we're gonna have to back up to move that shit out of our way. Wait, who can ring the bell? Uh, okay, all right, all right, I see the puzzle. So now we wanna back up, we wanna hit the bell, we're gonna back up some more and not lose the light. We're gonna hit the thing. We're gonna back it up so that shit's not in our way. Good enough. Now we're gonna move forward. We're gonna let the hit kid hit the bell. And we're gonna move forward. Yeah, no, I mean, again, this is pretty damn fun. And it's relaxing. Like, sometimes you just need a relaxing game. Like, literally. <laughs> I just got a comment that just killed me. And I know I'm not supposed to feed the trolls or reference the trolls, whatever, but... Literally somebody has shed on me in my Star Wars review because I'm talking about all I need from a Star Wars movie is for it to be big, dumb, fun, cool, blah, 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 and that's what I got. And they're like, oh, this is the embodiment of the consumer. It doesn't need all this shit. And it's like, brother, they don't all need to be fucking Citizen Kane. Sometimes things can just be fun. So, I mean, it's kind of like this. Sometimes games can just be about kind of relaxing and low-key brain involvement. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the variety of things. So anyways, but that comment really cracked me up. If you want to go find that on one of my Star Wars reviews, and I think it was the spoiler one. If you feel like telling them they're dumb. <laughs> Don't though. Don't. I mean, if you're gonna say anything, just be nice. Listen, most trolls are just people who have miserable lives and they don't know how to deal with it. So that's why they act out the way they do. So, you know, kill them with kindness. So yeah, that's what I say. But uh, yeah, so there you go. There's like 20 minutes of this game, but you know what? This is cool. I like this. I could definitely see playing this when like, I don't want to engage with something too deeply, but I want a little bit of a challenge and I just want to kind of chill out. Very, very cool. Good stoners game, probably. All right, anyways, so now that I say that and I enjoy this, I could maybe play this on Patreon at some point, although I'm just super into Kakarot right now, so that's all I'm really playing. But uh, let me know. We're gonna take it away. We're gonna send it back to the handsome man with the sexy fingers that are not really sexy. I'm just being stupid.
Okay, Eric, finish that damn unboxing. It's a good one. Bye. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that game, that Let's Play. Hopefully we had fun with that. And of course, I just concocted this beautiful little layout for the thumbnail and forgot that I actually need to look at this. So we're gonna take a look at this art book and then we're gonna see the cards. And I imagine we did get a full set. And again, I'll try to remember to tell you. Whoa, that is a quite the color shift as I open up into there. I was like, is it an art book? Cause I was like, hold on, is it just a journal? Oh, this has also kind of got a book stuff going on. <laughs> words, book stuff is words. <laughs> oh my God, I really need to eat. Um, so it is kind of a sparser book. It's not quite as full of an art as an art book as I would have expected. That looks cool. Just careful for spoilers in here. There could be some. But yeah, we get some nice sketch work in here. The book is very well constructed. Nice hardback cover. The paper inside is kind of glossy, feels really nice. Printing is perfect. Yeah, this whole set came pretty pristine. So I'm quite happy about that. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna show you the whole book because it is gonna take forever. And I do feel like, you know, you should save some surprises probably for those of us got it. But then again, I mean, some people just can't afford to get it. So I don't know. I guess you are kind of missing part of it because I'm not holding some of it off frame here. <laughs> I don't know, I've always been of two minds of this, you know, like should I show everything or should I save some for the people that got it? But then there are the people that just couldn't get it but want it and for archival purposes, maybe I should show them. Let me know, comment below. How do you feel about that? Let me hear your thoughts on that. Like if you're somebody that buys them, tell me you buy them and you think I should or shouldn't or you don't care. If you don't buy them, tell me if you think I should or shouldn't, if you see my reasoning. I'd love to hear your thoughts. That's definitely something fun you can kind of talk about down in there. Or if you're the people that make it and you think it's unfair that I show it off, by the way, by all means, tell me. But I think we're gonna do the whole thing because we're almost through it now. <laughs> I think we're getting to some more pink pages here in a second. Yeah, this is really nice. I have no idea what this game's gonna be like. And then you got some more pink pages, so. All right, cool, so we did that and I feel okay about it. Now I gotta rebuild my thing here. Mm, mm, yeah, good enough. All right, so this is the pack of cards that came with it. There are two packs of cards in here. Now, if you've been watching these videos, uh, a bunch of the videos lately, I've been buying the pack that comes with the game and the two booster packs. And I've been getting really lucky a lot lately um, of just having to open one of the booster packs to get the full five card set. So I'm wondering if they have switched to a system that allows you them to know, like here there's the A and the B, so as long as you give them an A and a B, you get the full set. Um, because I know back in the day, I could get three sets and still not get a full set of five cards, but it seems more consistent, and I'm wondering since they sent me 10, if that's the case. So let's see if we get a full set of cards in here. If so, I'll just save those booster packs and conventionally trade them or sell them or do something. I'm not big on selling, but you never know what we'll do with them. So we'll just start with this pack right here. And it is kind of fun getting the full collection. And of course they all have the super rare games backing on them. Then they all have this art card to preserve the mystery in the front. And we are working with card number two, friend. That's pretty cool. And card number three, lantern. All right, all right, all right. And we have the art, ca art card, card number five. Cool. So now, let's see if we can get this without even opening those booster packs. I have a feeling we can. So we're looking for card number one and card number four. Will we get it? We'll find out. Between four packs, we should get it. <laughs> I'd be really surprised if we don't. And right off the bat, we have card number one with Arena, I guess. Arena? Arena? And I think I'm spoiling it. Yeah, I am accidentally spoiling it. We have card number three, and yes, we did get card number four, the CRT television. That's pretty neat. So I don't need these booster packs, so... Interesting. I wonder if I should test the next time I order one of these and just um, just get one booster pack when it's just a regular game. We'll have to find out, but I've got like three more of these, two or three more of these I've already ordered or already here even, so it'll have to be in the future. But how do you all feel about this set? Have you played this game? Is it awesome? Did you like my Let's Play? Do you think this collector set is really nice and reflective of what the game is? I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is one of the best, uh, well, they've only done two collector editions, but definitely the best uh, super rare games collector's edition I've seen. So let me hear, hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out with me in the comments. I really do re love reading all your stuff. I don't really respond to anything. I try to in videos, but um, it is really fun to hear what you all think about things. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. Check out my Patreon where I do all kinds of video game extra Let's Plays over there. Sometimes they're free. You can find that by looking up the Eric Butts or using the link that's hopefully in the description below. But now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go play some more games and open up some more stuff, and I'll see you all later.